G'day lads, in this video I'll show you how to use 538's method to create your very own NFL ELO model that will allow you to predict games. You can download this spreadsheet for free by visiting the first link in the description below and that'll take you to the Excel Lads Patreon. Make sure you become a free member of the Patreon Lads so that you can receive notifications whenever I post or make important updates to the models. Let's get into the video. The first step in this model is to match up each team with their current ELO rating. In this simplified version, we're going to have to do it manually. So in cell A1, write the text team in B1, 538 ELO. Then bring up this Australia Sports Tipping website. This link is in the description of the video. And we're going to change a couple parameters. Once we press recalculate ELO ratings, it's going to adjust with the correct 538 ELO scores. So change home advantage to 65 and the previous season weighting to 0 0.67. Once you've done those, select the box here, recalculate ELO ratings, the page will update, scroll down, and then there should be the 32 NFL teams with four different ratings, but we're only going to pay attention to the 538 ratings. So for the Kansas City Chiefs, it's 1,679.12, all the way down to Chicago with 1382.46. So now you're just going to start and sell A2 by writing in Kansas City and just match up each NFL side with their current 538 ELO rating. So for Kansas City, again, that's 1679.12. Next team, Buffalo. And then you just keep going down the list until you reach the last team in Chicago. Now with each round, you're going, have to, going to have to do this process again. So just recalculate the ELO ratings and change the scores in column B to what is correct at that current stage of the season. This might take you a minute or two, but your last ELO rating should be in cell B33. Once you've typed that in, we're going to go back into full screen with Excel so that we can name a couple ranges so that it'll be easier for us to refer to them later on in our win percentage formulas. So highlight or select the range A2 to A33 and then name this in the top left hand corner box over here, teams, press enter there. And then from B2 to B33, select this range and name it ELO. Press enter, so we've got two named ranges now. In cell C1, type in the text location. Here we're going to match each team up to their home stadium. This will come into focus later on in the model when we're coming up with a home advantage figure. We need to know how much each team travels to get to an away game. So type in the city of each team's home ground all the way to C33 at the bottom there. So some teams share a stadium like the Rams and the Chargers. So Inglewood would be the figure there for both of them. Then... I'll do Chicago for Chicago, then select cells C2 to C33, and we're going to give them location data by going up to the data tab, pressing geography, and then you'll see this little icon come up to the left of the cell that just allows us to grab their latitude and longitude, which is what we're going to do now. If you don't have this feature on your version of Excel, it doesn't matter. All you need is the location coordinates. So to get the latitude in cell D2, it's equal C2 dot latitude. Drag that formula down and you'll get the latitude for every team. But Denver, there's a bit of an error here because the Microsoft AI has failed to grab the latitude and longitude here in the description. There's no information about that. So we're just going to have to enter it manually. So in cell D30 next to Denver, put 39.7392. And then do the same thing for the longitude. So in cell E2, it's equal C2 dot longitude. And press enter on that. And then drag that formula down for every team. And you'll get a field error for Denver 2. Sometimes it just works like that. No worries there. Just type that in manually. We're going to put negative 104. 0.9903. Press enter on that and we've got the location data for every single team in the competition now so we can name the ranges from columns C to E in C2 to C33, name that location. In column D, name that latitude. 
in that top left hand box over here and then as you could probably guess in column E it's going to be longitude. Press enter on that. Now scroll down and then in cell A35 we're going to put the text home advantage. Next to it will be the home advantage for the home team in the matchup but right now we've got to leave that blank. So B35 stays blank for now because we don't actually have the two teams selected who are going to play in this match and so we don't know how far the away side has to travel. We've got to create a new worksheet called match and then make some changes here. So from A1 to C2, merge and center these cells, put the text home team. And then do the same thing from D1 to J2. And in these merge cells, I wanna be able to select a home team from a list. So select the cell, go into the data tab, select data validation, in here I'm going to allow a list and the source for the list is going to be equals teams and that's the range we named a minute ago, the list of every team in the NFL. So I'm going to get the drop down list and select Dallas. Now in cells K1 to L2, I'm going to merge and center those cells. In here later on we'll add the win probability for Dallas. M1 to N2, that's going to be the decimal odds of Dallas winning. And O1 to P2, that's going to be Dallas's margin or expected margin of victory. Copy A1 to P2 after you've put all borders in there like this. And then we're going to do the same thing for the away team now. So paste that range into A4, change the text here to away team. And then we'll have to change the away team, let's say Cincinnati for this match. So now I'm going to name cell D1, home underscore team. And then in D4, away underscore team. This will make it really easy to reference later on. And now that we've named the home and away team, we can go back into the ELO ratings worksheet where we're able to come up with a home advantage for Dallas. And according to the 538 model, this will be 48 points plus four ELO points for every 1,000 miles traveled by the away team. So the formula for that in cell B35 is equals 48 plus open bracket int, open bracket, A cos, open bracket. This is quite a long formula, by the way, lads. Cos open bracket, radians, open bracket, 90 minus X lookup, open bracket, we're looking up the home underscore team or the home team in our match, Dallas, in the array teams and returning their latitude. Close the bracket there. By the way, this is not a formula I came up with. There was a good video on this and I'll put that description in the link below. Three closing brackets multiplied by cos, open bracket, radians, open bracket, 90 minus X lookup, open bracket. This time we're searching the away team, Cincinnati, looking up them in the list of teams and returning their latitude. So close the bracket three times in there as well. Add, sign, open bracket, and our number for sign is radians, open bracket, 90 minus another X lookup function, open bracket. Our lookup value is going to be the home team, Dallas. Our lookup arrays teams, and we're also returning latitude again here. Close the bracket three times, multiplied by a sign, open bracket, radians, open bracket. And then it's 90 minus X lookup. And again, we're going to do away underscore team in the list of teams and we're returning their latitude. Now once you close the bracket there three times, we're going to multiply that by cos, open bracket, radians, open bracket, x lookup, open bracket. Now this time we're searching the home team in the lookup array of teams, but we're returning their longitude. So that's going to be the range in column E of this worksheet. Close the bracket, minus X lookup, and we're searching up the away team in the list of teams and returning Cincinnati's longitude again. Close the bracket four times, and then multiply that by 3,959. Close bracket divided by 250, final close bracket, press enter, and the home advantage for Dallas in this game is 51.324 points. If we change the home team to a team further away, uh, for Cincinnati to travel like San Francisco, then the home advantage will become larger at 56 points because Cincinnati, the away team, has to travel 
a longer distance. And because we've done that, we can now go back into the ELO ratings worksheet and name cell B35, home underscore advantage. Press enter on that. We can go back into the match worksheet where we're now going to add in a rest adjustment to the ELO ratings according to the 538 model explainer, which is a link in the description below. A rest advantage of 25 ELO points is granted to a team coming off a bye week. And so what we're going to do now is merge and center cells A7 to B7, type in the text rest, and then in A8 equals home underscore team, A9 equals away underscore team. In cells B8 to B9, we're going to go into data validation, allow a list, and the source is just going to be yes, comma, no. Yes or no, because San Francisco and Cincinnati can either be coming off a bye week or not be coming off a bye week. In this instance, they're both not. We're going to put no and no for them. And then we're going to name these cells as well. So for B8, select that cell, go up to the box in the top left-hand corner and name that home underscore rest. Enter and then Cincinnati's away underscore rest. And we can also do the same thing for a playoff adjustment because in the 538 ELO model, uh, there's a playoff adjustment that multiplies the difference in ELO ratings by 1.2 before calculating the expected win probabilities and point spreads for the teams. So merge and center cells D7 to E7, and then after you put the text game in cell D8, copy and paste cell B8, uh, which is just the drop down list of either yes or no. In this instance, we're assuming it's not a playoff game and we have to name cell E8 playoff. Once you've pressed enter on that, we can now calculate the win probability for San Francisco in cell K1. This is going to be using all the named ranges below. The formula is one divided by open bracket one plus 10 to the power of open bracket, open bracket, open bracket, X lookup, and we're looking up D4, the away team, in the list of teams and returning their ELO. Close bracket plus if, open bracket, the away rest equals yes. Make sure you put speech marks around yes. Then we're going to add 25 ELO points. If not, add zero. Close bracket, close bracket, minus, open bracket, X lookup. And we'll do the same thing for the home team, D1, in the list of teams, we're returning their ELO rating, close bracket, plus if, if the home underscore rest is yes, or the home team is coming off a bye week, then we're going to add 25 points to their ELO rating, if not add zero, close bracket, and then we're going to plus the home advantage before we close the bracket twice, multiply this all by an if function, if it is a playoff game equals yes. So we've selected yes in cell E8. We're going to multiply this by 1.2. If not, multiply by one. Close bracket, divide by 400, double close bracket, and we get 68.88% for San Francisco's win probability. Now to work out Cincinnati's, it could really be just one minus 68% or whatever the result is in K1 but we're just going to do the formula again just to make sure we've got all the right ranges and the correct formula. So that's going to be equals one divided by one plus 10 to the power of three opening brackets, X lookup, open bracket, home team, in teams, ELO rating, close bracket, plus an if function saying that if the home team is coming off a bye week, we're going to add 25 points, if not add nothing, plus the home advantage, and then we're going to do the away sides calculations, close the bracket, minus, open bracket, X lookup, open bracket, D4 in the list of teams, and then we're returning the away sides ELO rating. And then we're going to add this to an if function, if the away rest equals yes, add 25 points to Cincinnati's ELO rating. And if not, the value of false is zero. Three closing brackets, multiply this by the playoff adjustment because if it's a playoff game, the favorites tend to outplay the underdogs as found by the 538 model. 
So multiply the difference in ELOs by 1.2 if it is a playoff game. If it's not, multiply by 1, keeping it the same. Close bracket, divide by 400, two closing brackets, and then we see that the sum of the away and home side's probability is 1, which it should be. So you can now change the teams and see what happens. Uh, Cleveland are the slight underdogs here, but they become the favourites when they play the Detroit Lions. And now in cell M1, we're going to come up with fair decimal odds, which are directly derived from K1, or the win probability. It's just 1 divided by the win probability. So Cleveland are 176, and the Lions are $2.31. And then now in cell O1, we're going to come up with the point spread for Cleveland. So they're the favourites going into this, so they'll be minus a certain number of points so that Cleveland and Detroit will be on an even playing field. This is a popular betting market. The formula is equals three open brackets, X lookup, we're searching up D4. We That's also the away underscore team. Returning their ELO, adding an if function saying that if the away team is coming off a buy, add 25 points. If not, add nothing. Two closing brackets, minus open bracket, X lookup, open bracket, D1, or the home underscore team. We're returning their ELO rating and then adding their home rest adjustment. So again, 25 points if they're coming off a buy and zero points if they're not. Close bracket and then we're adding the home underscore advantage before we close two brackets and then multiply this by the playoff adjustment. So if the playoff equals yes, then multiply by 1.2. If it's false, multiply by 1, keeping things the same. Two closing brackets, then divide by 25. So here Cleveland are minus 1.87, meaning Detroit need to be given an advantage of 1.87 for this game to be even. Copy and paste the formula in 01, and then for 04, we're just going to put a negative sign in front. So whatever 01 is, 04 is going to be the opposite of that. Great, so in this cell, obviously we know that the underdogs will always be plus something and the favourites will be minus. So our model's pretty much done now. You can play around with the team, see how the results pan out. Dallas versus Miami, Kansas City versus Miami, Kansas City are the heavy favourites here. If we go down to charges, they become bigger favourites. And we can also test that the rest and playoff parameters are working so if i go over to e8 and select yes it is a playoff game then the elo difference should widen meaning kansas if they were favorites before they should become even stronger favorites and of course lads you can change any of these parameters to suit your game that's the end of the video thanks for watching make sure you click the first link in the description below to download this spreadsheet from the excel lads patreon i strongly recommend you sign up for free to receive notifications of whenever i upload and write any informative articles